A few months ago, I posted a video about how YouTube was rejecting some of my videos for monetization even though they met all the requirements. Now, I got several responses in the comments from other YouTubers, and they all generally seem to have the same opinion. That we, the little guys, or YouTubers that aren't ultra viral, are intentionally smothered out in favor of these more frequently viewed videos. This video is to show you absolute proof that either YouTube deliberately suppresses the view count of less popular videos, or YouTube's view count system is flawed. Now I know to some degree that's how YouTube works. Once a video hits like 50,000 views, I think, it's advertised in search results and on YouTubers' homepage as a featured video. And I think once it hits a million views, it's considered viral. So I, I understand that videos with substantially higher view counts are obviously going to get promoted more by YouTube than videos with lower counts. But occasionally, I will run across a YouTuber that's new to the scene. I've actually looked at their join dates, and it, some of these were like last year. Plus, these YouTubers only have like 10 or 20 videos on their channel, and they're all almost viral status. Now, I've been on YouTube since back in 2009 and I'm up to about 90 videos now. Granted, my videos have varied in content tremendously, but it's more than 10 or 20 videos. The video that has the highest count for me is a video that I uploaded back in 2010, I think. It's the Doctor Who 80s Matt Smith titles or whatever it is. And it's been up for nearly three years now, and the view count is just over 50,000, which means it's just become eligible recently to be advertised as a featured video. Recently, I've uploaded several videos that show how simulated process separations created in Photoshop are used to produce images that are made up of millions of colors using only five to eight colors. These videos were and are intended to promote my business, DynamicGraphics.com. Now, after uploading the first two, I made sure that I optimized the tags, or keywords, for both videos. I used keywords and phrases that I felt people would use regularly on YouTube when searching for content relative to my business. I started uploading these videos about two weeks ago, and the first one I uploaded is just now up to 44 views, and it's actually been that way for some time now. Now, my business also has a Facebook page that Facebook not only promotes through an ad campaign, but I promote personally from my own Facebook. My business's Facebook page has direct links to these videos where I've shared them. Now, according to Facebook, these posts get viewed at least 10 to 15 times a day. Now, I know not everyone may view the video, but it's a safe bet to say that at least half of those actually click the link and watch the video. So if you do the math based on that, these videos that I've just uploaded should see a net change of view count of at least seven and a half per day. Okay, back to YouTube. After a few days, I began to wonder why my view counts weren't higher than they were because having been in the graphics industry for nearly eight years, I know that at any given time, there's always someone on YouTube looking for instructional videos or other related content. So given that the tags that I assigned to these videos were virtually word for word what people would search for, I kind of wonder why my view counts weren't higher than what they were. Now I want to say this, I'm not upset about the view count because the videos are monetized. I'm upset about the low view count because these videos are intended to promote my business. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, let me show you how I prove that YouTube's view count is drastically inaccurate. After seeing the results of my Bing ad campaign, I had an idea. I thought, what if I set up another ad campaign with the same budget, but instead of linking the ad directly to my website, had the ad linked directly to one of my videos on YouTube. That way, anytime the ad was clicked, it would send the visitor directly to the video on YouTube, where YouTube would then theoretically record a view. So in short, each click of the ad equals one view on YouTube, correct? I let the ad run for a few days and sure enough the results look very similar to my first ad campaign. Now the video I chose to promote in this ad campaign already had about 40 views when I set up the campaign. By the end of the second day the ad had received 47 clicks. 
So I went back and checked the YouTube view count and nothing had changed. Now my first thought was that maybe it takes a few days for YouTube to update their view count. However, as of today, here's a screenshot of my YouTube stats. I've highlighted the video that was used in the campaign, which is also used on my Facebook page. Now, if the vid had been at 40 views, and then after those 47 clicks on the ad, the view count should have been in the neighborhood of 87, not 49. Now, this does not eliminate the possibility that Bing stats could be inaccurate as well. However, it does seem to indicate that the views are not being recorded accurately. It doesn't bother me if it's vlogs like this or autocrossing videos, but when it's something to promote my business, I have a problem with that. YouTube, you need to address this issue immediately because I would not doubt that there are hundreds of other YouTubers out there like myself who are trying to get their business name out there and get noticed but can't because you can't record views very accurately. 